bit of a break from the high tier replays now. Um, this is a KV-1 game, glorious tank of Clement Voroshilov. Uh, just demonstrating why this is probably the best tank in the game for new players. Returning with Hellsort, who is uh, going to be our team's commissar. Now the thing he's telling the puppies here is to go north, because going zero line or K line from the south is basically useless, probably 99% of the time. At most you need a light tank there. Uh, tanks hanging out in the south can't reliably shoot into town, where the bulk of the enemy team will be. Tanks from town can shoot into south. And there goes Helsor, commissaring our Stug for going the wrong way. Now, the reason the KV-1 is probably the best tank for a new player to play, definitely the best heavy tank for a new player to play, is because it is just so well-rounded. Has a decent gun, good armor, its mobility is... It's not bad, but it's slow enough that they're not going to get themselves into trouble very easily. And in a game where you're uh, top tier and the en enemy team aren't smart enough to be firing gold at you or shooting weak points, you can literally just wade into an entire team, shooting them as you go. See, I'm not even fucking aiming, I'm just auto-aiming, sitting here, totally exposed, killing the enemy team. They can't do anything about me. T-49 would be able to wreck my shit if he would actually aim. Toaster comes in, gets one shot into me. This is the only damage I take all match. Toaster's dead. T-49's dead. Oh, that's cute. The SU-26 just splashed my track for zero damage. So three kills already, less than two minutes into the match. Four kills. Because the KV just has such a good consistent armor layout, uh, it has, I think it's 80mm uh, of front armor or something, 50 or 80 on the sides, it's, it's very thick armor all the way around the tank, even the rear armor is quite good. So you can basically just drive into the enemy team, uh, I'm not, not recommending you do, but provided you know what you're doing, you can just drive in, tank all the hits for your teammates and do all the damage. The uh, gun is reasonably good, good alpha for its tier, uh, decent gun handling, not great, but decent, decent rate of fire, it's just a good, solid tank, more or less idiot proof. So if you're new to the game and you're looking for a, a nice easy tank to sort of teach you to use armor, particularly things like angling and side scraping, you want to get good at them, this is the tank. The Churchill 3 is also an acceptable alternative, although it doesn't, uh, doesn't quite have that same je ne sais quoi as the KV. Churchill 3 is, is quite a good uh, drive into enemy team while holding left mouse tank though. So, I mean, I haven't really said much about what my strat was this game, because there literally wasn't one. It was just drive into the enemy team, shoot tanks. That's pretty much how you play the KV. That's all you need to do. It's not that hard to at least double your hit points in damage in a game in this thing, especially as top tier. Um, even in tier 7 matches, your gun is more or less on par with some of the, uh, the weaker tier 7 mediums. And your armor will still bounce the kinds of guns you'll see at tier 7 if you use it well. So I try and get this last guy, but oh, I should have aimed better. I missed him. But, once again, very easy tank to play. I mean, you saw what happened. I just drove into the enemy and fired non-stop and no effort, no effort involved at all. Definitely a tank I would recommend for new players.